Okay, so I'm starting second, and there is uh, no sign of the basic book opening hand. But this time I actually have one copy of Riolo. Um, the rest of the hand looks pretty bad. And I don't really like that, but it is how it is. Maybe I can hope to top the widget. Probably that's just not gonna happen. Okay, so one copy of Nesbol for type nil. And there's also red fighting energy. Um would be nice to see something like M from my opponent's side of the play. Probably that's just not gonna happen. Um there's Lily for six, okay. Um at least I have field blower available. So with the field blower, um discard card. I can discard Pearl City and he's probably Floatstone. Um, there's another Ultra Ball. My first was now is the Ultra Ball. Shauna instead of this. Um, yeah, very interesting decision to play Shauna and Cynthia. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely gonna discard Floatstone in this case. I'm just wondering why in the world my opponent did such a mistake. Um, this is definitely gonna be one Ultra Ball, and I'm gonna discard Gabit and Garchomp. Um, I'm searching my deck for Tapu Lele. And with the Tapu Lele, I can risk with the Bridget, but I'm not sure how smart that option would be to me. So... I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna put uh, not bridge. I'm just gonna go with Cynthia for seven. Even Sycamore um, is not that bad. Okay, let's just go with Sycamore for seven. Actually, I can do. If I get lucky with the Floatstone, I can strike my opponent for like seventy, which is not bad at all. Um, well, speaking about Floatstone, there it is, but I don't have a single other basic Pokemon to put on the bench. This is something very... But at least I hit his Regirock for 70, so he still need to find a way somehow to retreat. Alright, so there we go. There is a Silwine GX. Okay, and one Sycamore for 7. Can he find the retreat? So my opponent definitely needs a float stone. There's the max elixir. There's another energy in play for my opponent. And there's all right. And there's another Boswell GX. And more than that, if I was able to strike for 70 with another double cores energy, I can go for knockout. But it's definitely not smart to do something like that. And there is another Nazbull for my opponent. Oh, okay, so I forgot about that um, Gyra unit, your base no retreat cost. That's gonna cost me, so it's my turn. Um, it's definitely time to use that Cynthia play. I really don't want to let my opponent to draw um, extra cards, so I need to find a way to put some Pokemons on the bench. Oh, this just hurts some... It really hurt me a lot, so... 70 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 130 plus 70. Hey, might be able to go for the nugget against that Sylvain. How are things looking right now? I'm just not sure if that's gonna happen. I'm really not sure if that is gonna happen. There's another Max Elixir for my opponent. Far zero Gabids on the bench. The game is still not lost, that's for sure. At least my opponent provide me a um, fresh hand of six new cards with that copy of the M. So I'm kind of happy to see that. 
But I definitely need to find a way to bench my Pokemons, but that's just not gonna happen again. I, I, I don't know what is going on right now. This is just ridiculous. I should play more Bridget's. Alright, so he just removed which is not bad, but there's the Floatstone, and that's the problem, because now he can finish me with the Boswell GX, and then he can retreat to Soulwine and end the game. So, it's very... It looks pretty bad. It definitely looks pretty bad, so... Okay, Bridget as the top deck is pretty cool. I think I'm also going to put another Yolo in play, mm, or maybe not. It's useful for sure, but I can also go with the Rock Roof. I, I somehow need to find a counter my opponent right there. And you know, that retreating down to my Gable is the best thing I can do right now. So I'm hoping for the best. The best thing for me is definitely Garchomp as the top thing. Potentially, even Rescue Stretcher would be nice, so I can evolve, probably preserve my Rock Roof if it's possible. And then surprise my opponent with um, Lycan Rock GX. I can do this game without too many problems, if my opponent will not be able to knock on my Rock Roof and he simply miss it. So, okay, I'm still... In the game, that's for sure. Okay, so he okay, I, I didn't expect retreat, um, but okay, double cores in knock it against his Silwine. That's at least something, but. 160. Okay, so right there. I'm not sure if I should end. Um, or maybe just Sycamore for seven. One thing is for sure. I can grab myself Lycanroof. Like Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the Lycan Rock there and ending my opponent. So the best thing I can do. I can end him down to three. I can find, but I somehow, I'm somehow really want to knock on his Boswell on the bench. Okay, exactly what I need. And again, no another Gabo. That's pretty bad again. So I'm going to Lycan Rogue GX right there. Um, next turn I can take potentially two more prize cards and then turn after that two more prize cards again. Um, so the game is still not lost potentially. I just need to survive my opponent Buzzle GX attack. So I single strong energy for my opponent. However, that was the choice band. All right, so I'm still I'm still in a pretty good position. I can win this game just by attacking with my single Lycan Rogue GX. That would be pretty amazing. Really, it would be. Really, it would be. Oh, there's a Pearl City, so he limited my bench space down to three, which I mean, a little bit mistake. Really, it is. Um, so I'm gonna need Guzman, but I'm also gonna need a Floatstone, so... Which means I can grab myself Tapu Koko. Okay, with the Tapu Koko, I can knock out and take two more prize cards against my opponent, Sylvine GX. And then, meanwhile, I can prepare my Garchomp for the knockout against my opponent, Regirock. So I have actually victory in my hands, but... We shall see. So, 80 plus 30. Ooh, are you kidding me? Hmm, 
This is really interesting top deck, but still. Okay, right now I have more potential to do. So, energy definitely needs to be attached. But... All right, um, hmm, let me see something. If I snipe for 50 and 50, that should be two turns for the night. Nah, I cannot simply do that. So I'm forced to play my Ultra right there um, to see what do I have in my deck. So I need that Guzma, that's for sure, and Guzma is here. Which is okay, so I'm not gonna gamble right there. I'm just gonna grab myself Tapu Koko and put it on the bench so I can have a retreat available as well as the Lodestone 130. Now we can go all right. Give me that Guzma play for two more prize cards. Right, so I'm taking out my opponent. So why am I taking two prize cards? The biggest problem for me is gonna be basically take two more prize cards. Because I have zero energies available. There's another Lucario for his energy, which is nice. Okay, I guess I can snipe him twice, but that's just not gonna be enough. One energy for my opponent. If he can find fighting energy and even strong energy, he can one hit knock on my Lycan Rock. But the good thing is that the next turn he cannot use his um, Knuckle Impact. But he can knock me out with his Absorption GX, which means I'm still a Guzma play. Oh, there's the Guzma for my opponent right now. Ooh, will he actually attempt to play Guzma for my Lucario? And just punch me? Seriously? Okay, if he do that, then potentially with the Ultra Ball top deck or maybe Rescue Strike, I can grab Tapu Lele, so I have decent chance to pull one of these two cards, maybe even a Guzma. So if he decide to do that, I still have good potential basically to do something huge here. And yeah, I'm waiting for my opponent. The time is is counting down from my bottom right. Um okay, so weird. It, it says that it's my turn, and I'm kind of confused just because my opponent attached strong energy and the game all suddenly just glitched. Alright, I'm, I'm just confused. I'm not sure what is going on. I cannot play energy. I cannot do anything. So, okay, there. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna say well played to my opponent because that's probably gonna be it. And we're not gonna be able to find out what's gonna happen. So it turns out that the game... Maybe after this 15 seconds, the game will just bring back to normal. I really hope it's gonna happen just because it's very close and I'm just wondering who's gonna win this game. Um, one more second remaining what is going on right there oh it's back my opponent turn so finally he can he can play something I guess maybe there was like I don't know I don't know let's just say hello to my opponent and see what's gonna happen
Probably nothing. Oh, come on. So, I guess that's pretty much it. Maybe connection has been lost, maybe not. Um, I guess we're not gonna find out. It was, it was very, very... Um, I need to set in my opponent manage to take early game. Power in the late game. But again, we're just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. I'm just not gonna be able to find out what would happen if I didn't concede. So I'm gonna go to con. Oh, I cannot even concede. Seriously? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the sub to my channel. Let me know in the comments below if you know maybe about this glitch because it's it's just annoying. Tomorrow the video should be uploaded with a deck list as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, we'll see you next time. Have a nice day and goodbye.